the Bellingham Whatcom Chamber of Commerce and Industry 2012 Man of the Year, presented by People's Bank. Our 2012 Man of the Year was born in Regina, Saskatchewan, and after moving to the U.S., graduated from Springfield High School in Oregon. Staying in that area, he attended the University of Oregon, where he graduated in 1961 with an undergraduate degree in park management and forestry, and in 1964 with a master's in public administration. He came to Whatcom County in 1965 to become the county park's director and hit the ground running working to acquire land across the county to develop a first-class park system, our man of the year was responsible for the West Samish Park, Portage Island Park, Silver Lake County Park, the acquisition of the Keys Home, Lake Whatcom Park, and many more, including the beginnings of an outstanding senior center program. During his tenure, the county went from having no parks to having over 4,000 acres of parks and won seven awards for park development and design. For many people, this would have been more than enough achievement for one lifetime, but not for our Man of the Year. After just 10 years and tremendous accomplishments, he decided it was time for another challenge, and in July 1975, he announced his candidacy for Mayor of Bellingham. On election night, our Man of the Year claimed he had a feeling he would lose, a clearly erroneous feeling as he took well over half the vote in a five-way race. Wasting no time, he began making important changes to City Hall bringing on a new police chief and planning director, and starting such well-known parts of our city government as the Mayor's Neighborhood Advisory Committee and the current configuration of the City Council Chambers. After winning a decisive re-election in 1979, our Man of the Year continued his strong work, bringing us the Downtown Transit Center, the Boulevard Park Boardwalk, and the City's Community Development Department. He was instrumental in early discussions with the State of Alaska, which eventually led to the Alaska Marine Highway System coming to Bellingham in 1989. He modernized much of the city's infrastructure, including water treatment and conveyance projects, new police and fire equipment, and much more. As he neared the end of his second term, our man of the year signaled he would not be seeking a third, and in December 1983 surprised many by becoming the executive vice president and managing director of real estate for a firm that he often had contentious relations with, Trillium Corporation. As in his previous positions, his impact was felt almost immediately. He quickly worked to create a partnership with Whatcom County for the Wilder Farm area, now the Cordata neighborhood. His work on Bellis Fair Mall, after years of trying to get public approval for a downtown mall, brought top-end shopping to Bellingham and the entire region, and ensured Bellingham's position as the regional retail center for Northwest Washington. Our Man of the Year continued on with Trillium until 1994, when he announced he was definitely not retiring, but changing focus. He left Trillium after helping the company become a driving force in the development of not just Bellingham, but all of Whatcom County. To this day, through his Blossom Management Corporation, our Man of the Year continues to bring development to our county that combines quality with utility. His most recent project, Grandest Pond in Blaine, will create a beautiful planned community with a variety of different housing types in an important growth area of Whatcom County. On behalf of every single citizen of Bellingham and Whatcom County, we can't thank him enough for his years of service. Please join us in thanking our 2012 Man of the Year, Mayor Ken Hurts. <laughs>